children exam point of view mechanism of a hormone is a very important topic see this is something uh, this paper actually particularly uh, physiology and cell culture paper here basically we are concerned with the physiological part so now we all are learning the hormone as a, a part of physiology so basically here we are uh, more interested in the thing like uh, how actions are been produced and how this hormones are contributing to do the metabolism so this particular thing will be discussed in this particular lecture now see when we talk about the hormone so we had already discussed what are the hormone what is the property of the hormone and how can we classify this particular hormone so in general we all have seen that these are the hormone which uh, are the chemical compound which is secreted for the purpose of doing some type of the messaging right so these are nothing but the messengers simply these hormones how they are transported into the uh, blood first of all see they hormone are of various type first is the protein type and another is the steroid type uh, protein type i am talking about that includes all the other subtypes as well all non steroid hormones so when we talk about the hormone so these hormones are transported into the blood directly we all have seen just a minute uh, there is a bit I need to change the slight position a bit first of all we will talk about the fate of hormone so we have learned that these hormones are produces uh, in the case of the what is happening with my slides hormones are produces into the pituitary gland and the various type of the glands these glands are called as the endocrine glands and endocrine glands we had already discussed that these are the very specialized gland they lack the ducts so they are just uh, depend on the uh, portal system see student the meaning of the portal system now see we have learned that the blood circulatory system then what is this portal system portal system means the thing is been secreted from a sort of cells here is the endocrine gland and it is deposited on the other side okay so that is called as the portal system so this hormones what is the hormonal fate so these hormones these are depend on the blood stream and with the blood stream they are directly moving towards the target cell so first when we talk about the as i told you that basically we are describing uh, sorry distinguishing hormone into the two class steroid and the non steroid hormone so peptide hormone these are secreted by the exocytosis now when we were talking about the uh, cellular uh, mechanism that time we had discussed about the endocytosis and the exocytosis even we had a discussion about this terms in the immunology that endocytosis that means make uh, taking anything inside the cell and in this the vesicles are been formed so exocytosis is exactly opposite we are making the vesicle and throwing something outside the cell so peptide hormones are thrown outside the cell by the process of the exocytosis and when we talk about the uh, next category steroid hormone so see these are the hormone which are made up of the <coughs> cholesterol or you can say the lipid part so these are having a lipophilic nature so when we talk about the cell so this cell is having the plasma membrane which is made up of the phospholipid so lipid lipid is the same so that's why they are called as the lipophilic they can directly go outside so they do not require to be accumulated in the cell and that's why 
their concentration in the blood is directly dependent that how much it has been synthesized because it cannot be uh, uh, accumulated it is directly going to be remain or uh, immediately reaching to the target site now let us discuss about how it transports so both the hormone type both the category hormone will be having the different transport uh, form if when we are we are talking about the protein and peptide hormone so they are uh, not lipophilic so directly they are been secreted into the free state but the steroid hormone can be uh, sent with the bound form like they can be bound with the protein part so that they can transport because see if we have to transport anything into the uh blood so that time it should be bound in some form because this is lipid type in nature so here these have been bound with the alpha globulin or the albumin catecholamine type of the hormone these are again uh, secreted into the free state or sometimes these are also found bound with the albumin sulfate and glucuronic acid etc etc now when we talk about the hormone so we know ultimately they have to reach to the target site they are not been produced to work at the same place so they reach to the target site and there after how they are reacting with the target site right so first of all they have the receptor so there are two group of the receptor the first is uh, if when we talk about the peptide hormone so we know that the peptide hormone or the non steroidal hormone they cannot cross the plasma membrane so for that reason there must be some thing which is present on the cellular surface to receive them so for that reason they will be having the cell surface receptor so these are also called uh, as the surface receptor and when we are talking about the lipid hormone so they are the boss type they will not have any entry any checking or anything they will be directly entering inside the cells and they will be having the inside uh, hormone hormonal receptor so let us see now we all have understood that yes how they all are going to enter inside the cell now how they react that we will be discussing now see when the hormone is binding to the receptor after binding it is bringing the various changes and these changes are they may alter the chemical reaction with the target cell they may activate some other specific mechanism so on the basis of that uh, extracellular or intracellular hormone there are two type of the mechanism of action there are actually various other uh, mechanism also but under discussion we will be talking about how this uh, on surface receptor member uh, membrane they are interacting with one example that is activation of the cyclic amp and second example directly they are working on the gene so the steroid hormone they have direct effect on the gene so first we will be talking about the activation of the a uh, cyclic amp now see what happened the hormone will be the first messenger and cyclic amp is the secondary messenger so here there are various type of the hormone it could be pth tsh gonadotrophin uh, calcitonin epinephrine all these type of the hormone they will be acting on this particular uh, type of uh, you can say the fashion they will be having exactly this type of the reaction now this hormone receptor it activates the membrane protein now see this is the membrane protein with gpcr okay g protein cell receptor so this is actually a seven uh, membrane pass receptor that's why it is also called as a serpentine uh, receptor and thereafter you can see there are certain proteins which are bound to this particular receptor right these are the three proteins so these proteins are the guanine nucleotide binding protein three type of proteins are there 
gs alpha beta and gamma so now what happen when the hormone any type uh, any out of this hormone is binding to the receptor now see these uh, receptors are very much specific for their hormone so whenever this hormone is binding to its receptor so this is going to bring some conformational changes and thereafter what is going to happen uh, another uh, metabolism will start up so for that particular reason this hormone uh, uh, act as a molecular switches inside the cell so the activated g protein will uh, break down gs alpha and beta gamma all this subunit will be deactivated and this unit will go and bind to the this particular site this particular site is the adenyl cyclase sites and this adenyl cyclase it is going to convert the atp into the cyclic atp okay cyclic amp now see uh, here one reaction will happen atp i will try to write here atp will be there and this atp is going to be converted into the now see this is adenine triphosphate so here two organic pyrophosphate will be removed pair of phosphate that is called as the organic pyrophosphate cancel this two instead write ppi so when this two phosphate will be removed only one phosphate will remain right that is amp so this amp is called as the cyclic amp this is the in uh, one of the most important chemical messenger so this cyclic amp will be activated or maybe some other protein kinase will be activated into the cytosol now so where it is going to enter now see this is the plasma membrane this is the exterior of the cell and this is the plasma membrane and this is the interior of the cell is that clear so uh, inside the plasma membrane this activated cyclic amp will be present uh, and this is going to activate the further things like any type of the you can say the phosphokinase or anything will be happening or maybe any type of the protein kinase uh, will be activated so this is the secondary messenger so overall reaction depends on this thing. so see here activation of cyclic amp is very very important and this could be now you have seen that hormone has not directly interacted and produces the cyclic amp even the hormone has not even entered inside the uh, cell is that clear but still if hormone will not bound cyclic amp will not produce cyclic amp will not produce so protein kinase will not be activated is that clear not necessarily it is going to act on the protein kinase it may uh, activate some other type of the phosphorylating protein or something so this is the basic action so how it is happening once again we will uh, discuss the hormone first of all it is going to diffuse from the blood and it is going to bound, bind to its receptor where the receptor is situated receptor is situated on the plasma membrane of the target cell this particular receptor will not be present on any other cell say example it is the adrenaline uh, or any type of the hormone so their hormone will be uh, secreting from the whatever gland is there and from there it is going to uh, reach to each and every part of the body as in the previous example or previous lecture i had given you the example if i am teaching and you are attending my lecture with the whole mob only you and the people those who are understanding who are related to the life science background will only be able to understand my lecture although everyone is having ear so they all can hear me but only the people those who are from the same background will be able to understand what is happening is it or not 
so for that reason here the hormone has reached to each and every side but these are the main player this receptor are the main player which are very 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 specific and these are present only and only to the target cell that's why only and only the target cells can take up the hormone and can uh, show its effect is that clear so this g protein cell receptor is the one of the type of the receptor which is a metabolic switch so as soon as hormone is binding to its specific side now it has the special side say example this is the side and this will be very much complementary to bind to that particular type of the hormone only as soon as it is going to be uh, bind over it it is having some guanine nucleotide binding protein so uh, these are the specially three protein GS, alpha, beta, and gamma. So all uh, this subunit have some time of uh, type of the changes. What exactly has happened? That GS alpha will break down from that, and it will personally move uh, after incoming of the hormone, and it will go to the adenyl cyclase. And adenyl cyclase, it is. Uh, having ATP and it is going to change the ATP into the cyclic AMP and in organic pyrophosphate. Now this cyclic AMP is the secondary messenger. It is going to do various type of the uh, reaction. Now what, may, what is this protein kinase? So protein kinase is an enzyme that phosphorylate other cellular protein. The donor of the uh, phosphate group is ATP always because uh, well, ATP is present in the form of the energy currency in all the cell. Now, this ATP will be converted into the ADP. So, whole process is called as the secondary messenger mechanism. So, in this type, first messenger is the hormone which delivers message to the fixed receptor on the plasma membrane to the target cell. Then, this message will be taken up by the uh, cell where the secondary messenger will be produced and this secondary messenger will trigger the appropriate cellular changes now what cellular changes will happen because at the end we want the action so first change will be the change into the uh, permeability of the cell now see uh, we all always talk about that the uh, cell is semi permeable or selectively permeable so uh, see this particular type of the hormone will produce certain type of the changes into the cell that that will change the permeability of the cell maybe they will accelerate the penetration of the substrate they may change the enzyme uh, penetration inside the cell they may change coenzyme into the cell or out of the cell so they will bring certain changes that suddenly the uh, transportation of the cell will change say example uh, that if any hormone any neurotransmitter or an, uh, actually neurotransmitter also work in same way so uh, all such type of the changes causes the various type of the action now next change will happen synthesis of the new enzymes into uh, the nucleus as well as the ribosome then activation of the certain enzyme and modification in the rate of the enzymatic action because of the changes into the permeability of the cell will happen. And uh, thereafter, they may uh, cause the change synthesis of the new proteins. Now, this is all about the activation of the cyclic AMP, which is uh, happening because of the extracellular receptor. Now, second category activation of the genes now activation of genes uh, where the genes have been produced yes where the genes are present genes are present inside the dna na bachu so this dna are uh, having the genes inside it so now activation of genes that means hormone must reach where it must reach to the nucleus because this dna and genes all these things are situated inside the nucleus so definitely the hormones must reach to the 
DNA. Now we had already discussed that the first category of the hormone, or you can say the uh, non-lipid soluble hormone, they cannot enter inside the cell. Bahar se hi wo cell se baat karenge through the extracellular receptor. But for entry inside the cell, it must be the cholesterol derivative, or we can say it should be the steroid hormone. So this lipid soluble hormone, especially uh, when we talk about the lipid soluble hormone, is the steroid hormone. They will be directly entering because ये जो है इनका और plasma membrane का composition जो है similar type है lipophilic है. So directly they all are going to enter inside the cell and they all are going to activate the genes and they are going to bring the physiological activity of that particular target cell. Now see what is happening as soon as the hormone will diffuses from the plasma membrane, it is going to bind with the intracellular receptor. They will not be having the extracellular receptor. Now see this particular diagram is depicting three things. This is the extracellular blue color and this is the intracellular and this is the intranuclear. Okay, so when we talk about the sequence of the event, the first thing जो होने वाली है that is going to be the diffusion of the hormone through the plasma membrane. Now where it is going to diffuse, it is going to diffuse with the target cell only. ऐसा नहीं है कि ये कोई भी cell में जा सकता है तो कहीं भी चला जाएगा. No, absolutely not. See here also the cell will give certain type of the signal, although the signals or receptors are present inside the uh, cellular receptor or you can say inside the cytoplasm but still the cell which have the intracellular receptor will be receptive to that hormone as an a ke wo cell ke andar ja raha hai to kisi bhi cell ke andar chala jayenge it is not going to happen in that way so after that it is going to bind with its intracellular receptor now see each cellular receptor will have a specific binding region for the hormone. Now, this receptor are very much special type. Here you can see, this is the receptor protein. So, these are very special type of the receptor. This is having two type of binding site. One binding site will be binding with the hormone. And second, it can bind with the nucleus or DNA part, okay? So, as soon as the cell will be, uh, sorry, the receptor will be binding with the hormone, thereafter it is going to bind with the DNA. Now, see, this receptor alone cannot bind with the DNA. Matlab, jab wo, uh, non bound form mein rahenge, to us particular time pe they will be detached from the DNA. They can bind with the DNA only and only when they can bind with the receptor. Now, thereafter, this is going to form the hormone receptor complex. Here you can see hormone receptor complex has been found. And thereafter, that complex will bind to the DNA. Now, where it is going to bind to the DNA? In the DNA, they will be binding to a very specific site. Note down the name of that site. That is called as HRE site. That is hormone response element. So the hormone response element will be a very specific site on the DNA, which is uh, very much specific to uh, receive that particular type of the hormone. So as soon as HRE will bind, uh, that will start the transcription. Now, uh, how the transcription will happen? You might have learned that for transcription, we require the different transcriptional machinery which starts, right? So yes, first hormone will bind. So as soon as the hormone will bind, then this hormone will not do uh, or this particular uh, HRE site will be just activating. As soon as hormone will bind, so here the transcriptional machinery will be incorporated and thereafter transcription will start. You do not uh, confuse with these two things. Hormone is just going to give the signal. Yes, now transcription happened. Because see, the cell transcription and translation, we have already learned that there is a different transcriptional machinery uh, where uh, you have the polymerase and all which starts the transcription and the, uh, this nucleotide and everything will happen. 
so as soon as the hormone and receptor complex will bind to that particular specific site it will give the signal to the transcriptional machinery yes you can uh, start so this is going to be a switch molecular switch which will give a signal to that particular site yes now you can start up the thing that is the transcription and thereafter transcription will happen so when transcription happen we know that the uh, result is mrna so mrna will form and we know that this mrna uh, go for the processing inside the nucleus only and a final mrna forms uh, will found which is having a cap and a adenyl tail and thereafter it is transported outside to the nucleus and inside the cytoplasm its translation happen at the ribosome and new protein or maybe a new enzyme will be formed from this particular because see uh, this particular mrna now protein to aise bhi ban jata hai na transcription and translation to hota rehta hai cell mein but specially hormone agar signal de raha hai that protein has to be formed that means this is this may be a very special protein or enzyme so that protein and enzyme will be formed and that may have some other effect so this way the direct gene activation can be done with the help of the hormone so here uh in the mechanism of the hormone action we all have learned that the hormone it is having the direct or indirect effect on the gene in the case of the indirect we all have seen that it binds uh, the ex to the extracellular receptor after binding to the extracellular receptor it uh, gives out the signal to the another uh, type of the receptor and thereafter secondary messenger will be formed so here the uh, hormone act as the primary messenger and the secondary messenger will do some other function there are n number of function that's why here the functions are not been mentioned or the second thing we have just learned that is the dna activation so this is all about the hormone mechanism next lecture we all will be talking about the histology function and disorder of the endocrine gland if you have any doubts can ask me